Hey everyone, Mystery Infinite here, and welcome back to my playthrough of the Isle of Armor. In the last episodes, uh, we've completed the three trials and we got our uh, cup view, as you can see. Uh, yesterday, like I did off camera, I, I did, uh, I was like exploring the island and catching a lot of new Pokémon. So I will show you like which Pokémon I got. So like it starts. In this box, uh, this Jigglypuff, we got like in the first episode, and then this was the Waylord that was way in the back. The, the massive Waylord, it's level 80, so that's pretty cool, and yeah. I got some, yeah. All these Pokemon are here from the Eye of Armor, and also all these Pokemon. So there are some very cool new Pokemon, and of course, I got also these two. The Luxray and the Volcarona. So I think I'm gonna use the, these two on my team. And yeah, uh, when I was uh, exploring the, the wild area here on the, the Isle of Armor, uh, Cupview and I became uh, friendly to, towards each other. So I think we can go to Mustard uh, now and uh, show the process. Oh yeah, a Luxray is following me and it was the best experience. I really love that they brought this back. <laughs> And they didn't even announce it in the trailers. It was just, oh yeah, here you go. Pokemon are following you. So let's first heal up. There we go. We have to put Gapfu in front. Wait, what was his moveset? Maybe we have to do some changes, but for now it's alright. What's this? What's this? Let's see how you and Kapfu are getting along. Good, good. You two are just the best of friends now, aren't you? Yes, we are. Kapfu, really become more confident. How wonderful. I dare say, I think you're both ready. Follow me, you two. Alright, let's follow Mustard. Yeah, I really love Cup You. Dum dum diddy. Whew, I guess this is a good, good as spot as any. Oh, that must be any Cup you. If you want to become stronger, there are special training grounds just for Cup you. Prepare yourselves for the Tower of Two Fists. Alright, so now we can finally visit the tower. The blue tower is the Tower of Waters. And the red tower is the Tower of Darkness. Choose wisely since you'll only be able to climb one of these two towers. Kapfu's fighting style will change depends on the tower you choose. And the type it gets will change as well. Think carefully. Each tower is 5 stories tall and each row has a tough opponent waiting for you. Make sure you, you level up Kapfu properly before you try to climb up. You can reach both of the towers by heading through the Forest of Focus. You might even be able to find a shortcut if you can ride your bike across the river. I'm really looking forward to when you two make it to the top of one of those towers. It's going to be so exciting. Like, I think I want to do the Tower of Waters. I think we are on a high enough level, I'm not sure. But yeah, for now, let's find out. And I really love, like, the tick of you. Oh, the, <laughs> the poor thing, it's like running. Oh. We encounter a buffalo. Yeah, let's just KO this thing. Critical crit, very sweet. Some experience points. Alright, so let's head to the Tower of Waters. That's over there. Or oh, the shortcut was here. 
So how do you guys, uh, are you playing the, guy, uh, the Isle of Armor or are you just waiting and just want to check uh, the gameplay out before you're buying the DLC? Let me, let me know. Also, uh, when you're exploring the waters, the, there are a lot of sharpedos and they are very, very fast. They are like faster than when you uh, are charging your bike. So yeah, if you head out to the sea, be sure to watch out for those sharpedos. And here we are. But is Cup View is Cup View breathable? I think that is the bigger question. But yeah, let's go to the water tower. Hello Bastia, M Master has already sent word. This is the Tower of Waters. It's a special training ground that only Cupview can use. If you want to climb the tower, please make sure that Cupview is the only Pokemon on your team. Alright. So we have to put the others away. For now. That's right. Alright. This is the Tower of Waters. It's a training oh, AI. Yeah. Trisk. Oh, we have to raise it to level 70. Luckily, we got some candies. How much are two? And 70 now. It is the worst training round for Kapfu. If you raise Kapfu to at least level 70, its training will go smoothly. Once you enter the tower, you won't be able to leave until your you best five opponents or are defeated yourself. But what's more, the tower you didn't choose will be close to you forever. Now, do you wish to forsake the path of darkness and follow the path of water? Yes. Remember. There will be no turning back once you've made your choice. Are you sure you want to climb the Tower of Waters? I'm sure. I can tell your heart is set. The best of luck to you too. I thank you. Alright, let's enter the dojo or the towers. And it's so cool that Kapju is following you. Yeah, I know. I just want to talk to Kapju. Oh, he's ready. Alright. Rain falls to become a river, and the river will eventually flow into the ocean. Such is the great cycle of water. It will swallow you all. Master Dojo's student, and she is excited. Alright, let's just use Brick Break for step. That can be harmful, but we're okay. I love like the animation of the, the student in the deck. Right, so that was the first one. I've been swallowed whole by your great strength. Impressive, you can now proceed to the second floor. Alright. Very sweet. And here we are. In a round cup, water becomes round. In a square teapot, it becomes square. Water is adaptable, changing form to match the opponent. Prepare to drown in its power. Alright, and this Master Dojo student sends out a Krabby. It will be cool if Kapfu knows a Thunder Punch or something. It will make this uh, a lot easier. But you know, it's right. Maybe we should have healed up. Oh, 
Alright. And that's the Krabby. Didn't get a chance to adapt. Alright, so let's just... He loved the little fella. Yeah, I got some super potions. And there we go. Back to full health. Alright. So the third Master Dojo student. Ranger, raindrops may be small and weak on our own, but a torrent of rain can grind rocks to dust. Do you have the willpower to withstand the relentless torrent of my raindrops? Well, let's find out. She sends in the mirror. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's just use Brick Break again. Oh no, it was a fairy type, right? We should use Iron Head because this doesn't do that much. Oh my god. I thought Iron Head was the, the most. Uh, the, mo the move on top. But you know, this is also right. And let's game. Alright, three down, two more to go. Each one of your raindrops hit hits like a hydro bomb. Impressive. You can now proceed to the fourth floor. Alright. Let's give him a lemonade. And there we go. The fourth floor. Water will freeze and harden when cold or evaporate and fly through the sky when not. Water changes its form and even its name on a whim. Can you contain it? Well, let's find out. Holy world. Alright, let's just use break break and use protect. Alright, that's fine. Then we just use break break again. Much does it? More than half. All right. So just one more brick break, and he protects. Hey, look at the master dojo student in the back. He's so pumped up. Wait. Yeah. And did shoot KO, got it does. Alright, four down, one to go. Impressive. You can now proceed to the top floor. He's waiting for you there. I think we have to battle a um, mustard again. Oh yeah, and let's find out. Moose on top. Here we are, the fifth floor. And yeah, there he is. There you are. I figured you'd choose the Tower of Waters, so I decided to wait for you here. Bastian, Kupfu, you've both done well to get this far. Your final opponent is little old me. It's been a while since the last time I battled like this, but I think you can handle it. 
A stream to clear is avoided by fish Pokemon. We all need some darkness in ourselves. Let me be the one to teach you the final lesson on the essence of water. Alright, so... Yo, that went from 0 to 100 super quick. And he is also a cup. I need to get serious if I am to take you on. One your sense now and let this belt a sharp move. Show me how you can grow. Alright, let's just aerial ace the cup team. Well, just closely, Bastian. This is what Kapu's fists are truly capable of. Or show me. Oh, he also uses everything. Are we gonna lose? We have certainly to move up. And this Kapu is faster. Even a brick break did that much. Yeah, there's no way, like, yeah, let's just use Aerial Ace and hope for the best. But I think we're, yeah. Oh, what? Clutch. Alright, let's just heal up one more time. Alright, let's see, uh, hope for the best. Oh. Alright. So that's the game. We completed the water tower. With some luck at the end. Who is very happy. You young folks grow so fast. It never ceases to amaze me. What a team. Impressive. Most impressive. That's way too cute. <laughs> Look how happy he is. Fua, I knew... Knew you were worthy of my trust, Bastian. You have done well, very well indeed, in raising Cup few to this level of strength. Leon was once my best student a long time ago. He too attended this trial, but he never made it to the. T he, but he never made it to either tower. He got lost along the way. Of course, he got. Now it's finally time for Cup few to evolve. Go and show Cup few the scrolls of water. Cup few is ready now. The scrolls of water. This is some Kung Fu Panda shit. Do you want to show Cup the scrolls of water and have it to evolve? Alright, so now we get an Urshifu. Very sweet. Finding water. This former Urshifu is a strong believer in defeating foes by raining many blows down on them. Its strikes are non stop, flowing like a river. Urshifu wants to learn the move Surging Strikes. Yeah, let's forget the move. 
the user having mastered the water still strikes the target with a flow motion three times in a row. This alt attack always results in a critical hit. That's pretty strong. And which move are we going to forget? Uh, let's see if we just forget Iron Head. Behold, before you stands Urshifu, sure to be unyielding armor that will shatter any blade turned against it, and its masterless style of water. It looks very cool. And you've certainly grown, haven't you? And to think, not too long ago, you would you would have run and hid behind me the moment you got scared. Indeed, no matter how old I get, witnessing someone grow always brings joy to my heart. Masya and Urshfu, thank you both from the bottom of my heart. Oh, I almost forgot. I give this to anyone who has faced me when I was taking the battle seriously. <laughs> we got his lead card. Now then, let's head back to the dojo. Search talent and strength. Perhaps the time is come. What time? Alright, I think this is a pretty good spot to end today's episode with the Urshifu in the back. Yeah, let's just end with this shot. Can we? Yeah, it's great. So thank you guys so much for wa watching. Uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And yeah, this is a bye-bye for now.